Welcome everybody. Welcome to Jesse's Variety Channel. Today I'm going to be cooking Cajun pork and sausage jambalaya. I've got my ingredients here ready to, to start up. First of all I've got manteca. I'm going to use to brown the pork. I've got about a pound of uh, pork butt. I've cut up into pieces and about six or eight ounces of Cajun sausage. Cajun sausage is a key to this dish. I'll put the link in the description where you can buy this sausage. It's at my cousin's store in Ville Platte, Louisiana. I've got a cup of rice, water, uh, about a half of an onion, chopped up kind of coarse. I've got some fresh parsley, about uh, a teaspoon of garlic, minced up garlic, about a cup of green onions, and I season the meat and let it sit with the Tony Sachery seasoning. And uh, let's get started, put this together, it's going to be really good. Welcome back YouTubers, this is Jesse's variety channel. Today I'm going to be making a Cajun chicken fricassee. I have my chicken all seasoned with Tony's Sachery seasoning that I like to use for my Cajun dishes. And I also added a little bit of garlic powder to that chicken. I've got a couple small potatoes that I'll be adding to it. I got an, uh, about a half of an onion, small onion, well medium onion, fresh parsley, and green onion tops, and of course the roux, which I make in batches so that I have it ready. I don't have to make it before I prepare a dish. I like to have some on hand at, at all times. And, uh, and I've got my pot ready. I've got a little bit of cooking oil in the pot. And a little trick that my mother always showed me to brown chicken is to add a little bit of sugar to that oil. That sugar will caramelize and brown your chicken really pretty. I like to brown my chicken before I uh, put my roux in and what have you. I know some recipes people will put the chicken in the broth, the stew gravy when they get it made they'll add the, the chicken after but I like to brown the chicken so we'll get that started in just a little bit okay I got the fire on the pot going and I've got it on high so once that sugar caramelize starts caramelizing I'll add the chicken in it to start browning the chicken and with this dish I'll be serving it with white rice just plain white rice um, and probably some corn on the side. It's starting to heat up good. Takes a little bit to get it uh, to car caramelize. But you'll see as I'm browning it, it's going to brown that chicken really nice. One thing with brown, browning the chicken before putting it into the roux, the gravy, which you'll see after a while, um, it doesn't give it that boiled, like just kind of stewed uh, flavor, texture. I, I like doing it that way. But a lot of people just, you know, make the roux gravy and then add the chicken and onions and all that. But I like to brown everything before, to kind of get things caramelized. It, it adds to the flavor of the dish. Okay, as you can see it's starting to caramelize so I'm going to add the chicken now. And I, I use lake waters. That's what we like. But you can use any part of the chicken that you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we got the 
chicken in. And we're going to brown that chicken. You'll see, when I flip it over, you can see that browning already. See how it browns it, really browns it pretty. Like I said, that's a little trick my mom taught me years ago to get the chicken brown. And the little bit of sugar that you use really doesn't change the, the taste of the dish at all. It's very little bit of sugar. As you can see, it's like really pretty brown. And now that we've got it starting to brown really good. I'm going to add the onions and let them cook down a little bit, browning them, caramelizing them. Okay, the chicken is brown, the onions are cooked down a little bit. I've got about a cup of roux that I've got in some water to soften it. Like I say, I make my roux by, you know, big batch, and then I put it in a jar after it's cooled. I put it in a jar and keep it in the refrigerator for future use, and it's, you know, available when I want to make some uh, Cajun dish that calls for roux. But I got the roux softening in some hot water. And I'm gonna add this in just a minute. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion tops and parsley. There's the onion tops and parsley. I'm going to stir that up. And with all that brown brownness in the pot, the crunchy it's going to be really good. It's going to really taste delicious. Now I'm going to take the roux, the water with the roux. I'm going to add that to about the middle of the pot. And I'll be adding more water in just a minute. I'm going to get some more water. And you want to cover the chicken for sure. Make sure that it's covered with the water. At this point, you're going to have to uh, watch it close so that that roux doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. Kind of stir and uh, keep stirring so that it doesn't stick and it'll all dissolve. And this will get thicker. Once it dissolves, this is going to get thicker. This uh, gravy is going to get real thick. A nice thick consistency. Not too thick though. We 
gonna let that simmer here for a little bit. Bring it to a boil, I mean, I'm sorry, not simmer. We're gonna bring it to a boil while we're stirring. This is already smelling really good. Okay, as you can see, just making sure that that roux is not sticking to the bottom. And it looks like it's just about all dissolved. So what I'm going to do is Turn the fire down and let it simmer till the chicken is all cooked. That's all there is to it. And I'll add the potatoes after a while. I don't want to put them too soon because they get too mushy. But uh, I'm going to lower the fire to simmer. And let it, uh, let it cook like that. That's really all you got to do. It's really easy to put together. Simple dish. Good Cajun meal. Yum yum. Uh, when it's all done, finished product, I'll come back. Okay. My fricassee has been cooking for a good 45 minutes or so. Looking real good. The consist consistency of the gravy is perfect. I'm going to add the potatoes now because they won't take very long to cook. I'm going to add those down. Stir it up. And let it cook till the potatoes are done. And then it's going to be ready to serve up with that white rice and a side of buttered corn. We'll see you when it's all finished. And here is the final product, the rice, chicken stew, uh, fricassee, and corn on the side. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.